So I got this 2014 S550. Customer took it to another shop and they done a strut assembly on this rear, uh, right rear corner. And after that, it had a pressure sensor code for the fuel tank for the EVAP system. So they could never figure it out. And I can see where they've been piercing the wires at the pressure sensor. And they said they installed a new pressure sensor, but I'm not quite sure they did. So I dropped the gas tank, the corner of the gas tank, just to make sure they didn't pinch a wire when they put the gas tank back in, because they definitely had it out. I can tell where some of the bolts were loose and everything looked fine with this harness, nothing, nothing crushed. So then I started checking in for pretty much my signals going to the ECM. So our signal and return wire going to the PCM is fine. I got continuity, but my five volt reference, I don't have anything on that coming from the computer. So I started tracing my wires back to see, you know, it goes over here to where they had to strut out, figuring maybe they messed something up. But actually I found something even more alarming than that. So I pulled everything out of the trunk and in the back seat, this harness right here is the one going to the fuel tank. The wires down there I was checking. So I was gonna trace it back and just go so many feet and just find the wire and test it just to kind of find out where the brake might be. And then I kind of seen that hole. I was like, well, that's not good. It's like somebody maybe stabbed a screwdriver or something through it. And I got to looking. Here's my five volt reference wire. I'm in the process of fixing it now. But I was like, well, whoever stabbed through that, done that. And then I got to look in and I see like strands of copper everywhere, like insulation from wires. And then that shiny black electrical tape stood out. These German cars don't use electrical tape like that. They use Tessa tape, which is like cloth tape. This stuff right here. So after I seen that, I started investigating more. And I kept seeing this. It's like lead. There's even some sticking out right there. So then I seen more holes. Right there, one down there. And then it become apparent, you know, I see a bunch of repaired wires. Them are bullet holes. So I got to look in, that's, that's lead from a bullet. So it looks like the back seat of this thing got shot up into the trunk. So I don't even know more to the story, but that's definitely what happened. Bullets entered from the back seat into the trunk and messed up a bunch of these wires. I had an issue with the reverse camera also. I've already figured that out. There's another wire is messed up. But yeah. We'll get this thing fixed up. Check the codes and make sure everything's good. But yeah, it's crazy. And I got a little bit curious and I started looking at the actual seat. And it looked visibly fine like from a distance. But the more I got to looking, that's a repair. Another repair. Another repair. That one just didn't get fixed at all. Yeah, I don't see any more. But yeah, that's crazy. Maybe there's an exit hole from a bullet. It looks like something grazed it there. There's an entry right there where that harness is. Two more right there. So yeah, definitely shot up. Let's see if it caught one in here. All right, so one went in there. Looks like it hit here and stopped it. Another hole there. Like you can see the round head of the bullet on that one. One come through there. That's actually that one. Put the trunk back together, found another one. So this sits just like that. And I've seen that. See the exit. And I found a big chunk 